for reminder, um, my BTC target for this wave four retrace was exactly where we are. Then I moved it up a little bit and I said, maybe we'll end up like just at about 58K, maybe you know, right around 58K. We held there for a minute and ultimately went lower. So obviously my first target was right. Um, cause you can see, I mean, this is incredible. The amount of support we have here, we got the 222 EMA on the hourly model, along with that horizontal support that I've had there for quite some time. The four hour model as well, you we got the 55 right there and that horizontal support, it's holding extraordinarily well. Now, the Stoke model's falling apart a little bit. We're getting that zigzag effect down here, which means I can't as reliably predict the trend reversals. Now, before, I was able to predict my way three target and we would get a rejection there. So I opened up a short. Now I ultimately closed that short on the way down and I took my profits and I decided to stay out until I saw what happened next. So I got that rejection perfectly. Now I went long on this bounce. We came back down. I thought it might actually stop me out, but it's holding so far. Unfortunately, without a reliable stoke oscillator, I can't, if I don't have a clean repetitive model on the stoke here, it's just too difficult to predict the reversals. So I'm hoping if we can recover quickly, then we can restore this uh, nice pattern on the stoke, and then I can use that. For right now, I'm just not sure. If this support holds, that's all I can say. If my support holds, I'm not only going to have an insanely precise top call on the top of wave three, but the bottom of wave four, well, it's to be fair, I did move my target up. I thought wave four was actually only going to retrace to 58K, and now I moved it back. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but still, my original analysis going back like two weeks had this potential target right at this level. So uh, still, I'm really happy with the way the model worked out. I mean, this is pretty damn accurate. I just hope the support holds. If it doesn't, I'm going to get stopped out of my long. I'm still long on BTC. Until the support fails, I'm not giving up because this is a killer support. This is confluence on multiple time frames. My Ichima Dynamics, the 222 EMA on the hourly, the 55 EMA on the four hour, and that horizontal support that I've been watching for so long. Um, if we do go lower, I have some ideas where we're going to go, but let's deal with that if that happens. If the support holds, we're going to go up and test that high. If we test the high at 62K again, there's a good chance we break through. So stay tuned. I'll let you guys know what I think when we uh, figure out which way we're going to go from here. I'm also staying out of alts until BTC makes a decision on this. Some of the alts are looking good, I will admit. There are some alts I'm thinking about getting into right now, but I just don't want to do it since there's still a pretty decent chance... I don't know. It can be some news that comes out or something can spook the market and this support will fail and it's just going to dump. I don't trust it. I'm just trusting my instincts here. I'm going to stay out of any other new trades until BTC makes her mind up. So uh, stay tuned. All right, that's it.